guys identifying chiral compound is very easy just follow these techniques so that you can answer this kind of questions look at the question total number of chiral compounds from the following see so in order to show the optical activity either compound should be contain chiral center carbon with four different groups or else it should not contain any plane of symmetry or center of symmetry look at this the option b here is having a carbon having four different groups so i can say this is a chiral center present in the compound and have no plane of symmetry or center of symmetry therefore it is optically active and i can say chiral compound it is and look at this option see this is a meso tartaric acid now if i pass a plane from the center of the molecule now it can be divided into two equal halves now so i can say it has plane of symmetry therefore if it contains plane of symmetry optically inactive or achiral and you know this molecule also if you send a plane like this having two equal halves right now this is also optically inactive and i can say achiral molecule and you can see this compound also having all these are above the plane now if i pass the plane like this now these two molecules are above the plane and equally divided therefore i can see it is also having plane of symmetry so optically inactive these two things okay this three and look at this molecule so you can imagine this like a or consider it like a uh, aline molecules like consider these double bonded carbons like this okay and this ring is also considered as a double bond like 1 degree of unsaturation right so like this okay and after this substitute the groups given here so you have one carboxylic acid group over here and one more is hydrogen present like this okay and this side you have one phenyl group and another one is hydrogen now this is also optically active so in aline molecules the both carbon atoms are perpendicular to each other okay the groups are perpendicular to each other always remember in aline molecules in the terminal carbons which are having even number of double bonds are optically active if the terminal groups attached here on the terminal carbon if they are different for example it is of like ab and something like uh, uh here b c like a b c d type or a b a b type in that manner if it is present this is uh, perfectly optically active okay remember this trick and apply in the questions thank you for watching